the electronics week first let me tell you what the electronics week is after attending the week long red xi boot camp by mit media labs in the 24 hour hackathon by the lakshya foundation i found out that you could do fantastic projects in very less time given a hard deadline after working on some cool projects at both the workshops i wanted to do something more that's when i come came up with this idea the electronics week a week where i dedicate all my free time to work on awesome electronics projects before starting off let me tell you that the electronics week was super exciting super interesting and super productive i'm really happy about it day 1 i browsed through some awesome electronics projects on youtube finalized the cool projects that i will be working on and then i went to roll and electronics at koti hyderabad to buy the required components for the upcoming projects apart from buying the components that were on my list i started inquiring about other way, other components in the shop like at mega eight solar panels rgb leds phaser sensors bluetooth modules and it was uh, really interesting to know about the costs of all of them uh, and now i have a better idea if i can really use them in my project or not day 2 i made an electromagnet firstly i tried to make the electromagnet with a stapler it did not work and then i tried to use a couple of nails it still did not work and finally when i used a screwdriver it worked detecting touch is one of the most important tasks in many electronics projects so i built this circuit which could sense touch on an aluminum foil day 3 but then the circuit was on a breadboard i couldn't carry it around with me i knew i had to solder this uh, but i was very weak at solving so i had to call my friend learn soldering for, uh, from him overnight and then replicate this touch detecting circuit on soldered board day 4 implementing your circuit real time is important and what you do when you have to implement it real time is pick, uh, pick the microcontroller from your board and solder it to your circuit but the problem is that the microcontroller on my board at mega 328p was costly it was 300 rupees so uh, i used an at mega 8 dumped the bootloader into it and used it instead of at mega 328 at mega 8 costs only 65 rupees so i'm saving about 240 bucks there later that night i implemented the memory game using arduino with himant day 5 i worked on the room status indicator with sharan and sandeep day 6 we tested an alcohol sensor on arduino and it worked fine then i worked on the virtual piano where you had to wear this glove and just tap your fingers on an aluminum foil and it generates different frequencies of sounds day 7 it was 12:30 am and me and nikhil were talking we were saying let us do something very interesting now let us complete two projects in a given deadline so we said Uh, we talked for some time and decided on the projects we said let's do wireless energy transfer and let's make a virtual keyboard in the next 2 and 1/2 hours we had the countdown timer on and we started working and i'm happy to tell you that by the end of the 2 and 1/2 hours period we completed both the projects successfully and then i took some time out to record videos of all these projects which can be found on my youtube channel thank you